Greetings. Welcome to to Barry Catholic Boys Special Report. Uh, it's it's Tuesday, January twenty seven, two thousand and fifteen. Today's special report we're going to be covering uh, the difference between the coverage of the Deflate Gate um, football game versus the coverage on the March of Life. First, Sunday, January 18th, uh, at the NFL's AFC conference game, the New England Patriots were caught cheating, deflating balls, in their game against the Annapolis Colts. Not long after that, on Thursday, January 22nd, the March for Life, there were over 600,000 people who participated in the march, making it one of the uh, largest, if not the largest, um, rally for human rights um, existing. Now, the mainstream media outlets covered the AFC conference game and the New England Patriots extensively. At the same time, I personally saw little to no coverage by any mainstream media outlet regarding the mass turnout at the March for Life rally. So the question then is why? Why would the mainstream media cover this football game so extensively, but yet not little, give the little to no coverage at all in regards to the March for Life rally, which of course is a march against killing babies before they're born and had uh, as many as up to over 600,000 people attend. Why do you think that is, Baruch? I don't know. You don't know? Do you think that it was intentional? That they intentionally didn't cover the March for Life? You do? It seems to me that it was intentional. I mean, how could you miss 600 plus thousand people at the nation's capital? How could you miss uh, so many people, especially when it is an annual event, so the expectation is there? It was advertised, so they couldn't have missed the advertisements. I know I didn't. So how... I don't think that it was an oops... Sorry, we missed it. We just didn't see all those people. I think something was intentional here. But it begs the question, why? Why would you not cover it unless they don't want people to see an outcry for um, not killing babies while they're still in the womb? Do you think that their hearts are that evil, that dark? Yeah, but... The people who are running these media outlets, do you think that their hearts are that dark and evil that they would go out of their way to make sure that the outcry for not, the outcry and appeal to put laws in place to prevent the killing of children before they're born, do you think that their hearts are that evil that they would squelch that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. And tell them about uh tell them about how the how the how the how the how the patriots the, the, tell them about the patriots um i'm just gonna sit here tell them about the patriots um well <clears throat> I, I i guess what you're referring to is the fact that um the patriots deflating balls tell them about that. okay well they did get caught cheating again and I think we have something to say about that. And I, I see the relevance of identifying cheaters. And I guess especially with regards to the Patriots, because they're known, at least some of the players, are known for their tantrums, for throwing fits like children, instead of behaving like mature adults. Yeah, like you. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Really. <laughs> um, yes, uh, so... You know, and that's what you want. I think it goes with the territory. If someone is going to cheat, they're going to throw tantrums. If someone's going to throw tantrums, 
the chances are they're going to be the kind of person that is going to cheat. Tantrums and cheating kind of go hand in hand. And we, like respectful people who, who play respectfully, who play with honor and dignity. So it, I, I'm not saying, I wouldn't say that it's not worth reporting, but to go out of your way to report on this and miss something as large as the March for Life rally. And I would add to that, even missing some of the things that are happening in Africa and the Middle East with regards to the Christians. What do you think, son? Good. Good. You're detached from this report, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this leads to another question. What does this say in regards to the mainstream media? What do you think this says about them? that they would go out of their way not to report on something this fundamentally important. Well, there's one question. First, the situation is they don't care about people. They just care about themselves. That is a good observation. Second, they only care about football games, not the, ma not the media. Okay. And third, they don't care about the babies get, and the March for Life and the babies getting torn out of its mama's womb. That is very much. And, if, and fourth, because there's five reasons. Okay. Fourth, peace is not what they want on, and they don't receive the Eucharist. That's probably true, or if they receive it, they receive it unworthily. And five... They don't care about anything anything but the sports game, the football game, and themselves. That is, uh, that, those are some great observations to put and on the table. And six, mm -hmm. they have no, their hearts are dark and they have no question, and they, and they don't, and they don't even pay attention to what all the, that evil is doing, and when they don't pay attention, to what everything is doing only to themselves and, and, and to the football game, they get caught also, and they get killed. That Those are some great uh, uh, things to put on the table. Well, this leads to other questions. So since they are purposely neglecting these things, and since it indicates a very dark and corrupt heart, um, can can we say that they are trustworthy of what they do cover? Nothing. Uh, these news media outlets that are neglecting important stories and covering things that are really meaningless, can we say that we can trust them with what they do cover? The things they do report. Should we trust them? No, but we should care for them. We, right, we should pray for them, shouldn't we? And how... Why don't you tell the people how St. Sebastian also cared for them, like the Romans? He, he did, didn't he? Uh, well, he was he lived in the 3rd century, uh, so I think... Like, uh, um... Well, let, let me ask this question. Should we rely upon these news yeah, media yeah. outlets for, for our news coverage and commentary? Uh, yeah, but... But, but with reservation? No. Uh, should we rely on these news media outlets that are neglecting things and have dark hearts? Should we rely upon them? No, but we hey, let me think about something. Okay. Should we rely upon these news media outlets that neglect these stories, don't report important stories, and they cover stories that are meaningless... Should we rely upon these news media outlets for our news coverage and commentary? No. Because someone with a dark heart and someone who is clearly neglectful um, should not be trustworthy. I think that is logical. I think that is reasonable. And Don't I think pay that... Don't pay attention to me. Pay attention to them. Okay. <laughs> I think that that is a reasonable conclusion to draw and that is the lesson we can learn from this issue regarding the New England Patriots deflate game versus the March for Life 
and the media controversy surrounding it. So, for the Barry Catholic Boys, this is Timothy. And this is Baruch. Signing off and asking you please subscribe to our channel, click down below and like our clips, and check out our other programs. Uh, I think you'll like what you see and write to us. And make sure to comment. We haven't had any comments. <laughs> okay, we haven't had any comments. So, uh, comment below and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.